Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's uh, Dope Deagles here, or Anthony. And I got a little comment here for you guys today. I'm going to pretty much show you my render settings, my pro property settings, and um, I guess a little color correction, um, and how to do all that stuff in Sony Vegas uh, 9.0. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing for Sony Vegas 10.0. Um, so if you have 10.0, uh, it's the same thing. You're not missing out on anything. Um, yeah, let's get started. So I got my, I uploaded this already to YouTube. I figured I'd show you guys how to do stuff for it. It's my uh, color correction test video, with three shots or whatever. Um, got some clips uploaded. Got some music and audio and everything like that. So yeah, let's go to properties, uh, alt enter, or you can just click on that. Template, you want to make it HDV 720x30p, um, this is going to get your video to render in HD, if you don't do it like this, it's going to render it in standard quality, standard definition, whatever you want to call it, and there's going to be black bars on the sides and that looks really ugly, so um, the default one is like it's, I don't know, it's one of these, whatever, just switch it over to HDV 720x30p, and it'll make it look all pretty and stuff. Um, no home. With, uh, 1280x720, has to be that, otherwise, uh, I don't know how the hell you recorded your video. Field order, none, pixel aspect ratio, 1.0, output location, 0 degrees, Frame rate, I keep mine at 29. Uh, some people like to put it at 59, but I don't know, 29, it'll uh, look basically the same. If you put it on 59, the file's gonna be a little bigger. So, pixel format is 32 bit. Um, composing game doesn't matter. Full resolution rendering quality, make sure it's on best or else it'll look like complete shit. Um, motion blur type, Gauss sign, like however you pronounce that, I can never pronounce that. And then interpol field for the deaderless method and whatever the hell that is. Um, make sure this is checked right here. Blah blah blah. Click apply and then click OK. I'm just gonna exit out because I have all that already. Um, so yeah. Uh, what else can I show you guys? Oh yeah, I put a little color correction over these clips. So if you want to get to color cl correction, go from Project Media, which is probably the standard thing that's going to be open already, over to Video FX, and you got all this junk. Um, people usually, when you're doing simple color correction, use brightness and contrast, and saturation adjust. And then when you want to edit those things, just, um, for example, brightness and contrast, you click on reset to none, hold it, and drag it onto your clip that you want to you know, put it over, and you'll get this screen right here, and you can edit the brightness, the contrast, contrast center, um, yeah, and you can make it all cool and stuff, I guess. Um, next, uh, another thing that'll help uh, get out all of ugly black bars or whatever, um, you want to right click on your clip, and I have three separate clips here, actually, you can see. Um, you're gonna have to do this for all of them. Same with the color contrast. It doesn't. Sorry about that. It doesn't just copy over for each clip. You have to actually go through each clip and do it separately. So you want to right click, go to properties, and go to uncheck smart resample and check disable resample. Press OK, and then do that for all of them. And that will really help with the black bars. The black bars really look like crap. Um, you want to even your video out. You don't want to get any black lines on the top or whatever. So click on event pan slash crop. This little symbol right here. Click on it and you'll get this right here. And then you could crop your video so it can render whatever it sees from here. The F is just for an example. It's not actually going to show up on your screen. Um, you know, you can make it small. It'll be close in. That looks ugly. Or you can make it nice and simple like that. That's how I had it before. 
and then when you're done doing that just hit um, exit you don't have to actually save anything so yeah uh, once you finish that you're pretty much done you want to go to file render as I have a custom template over here you can edit all the stuff over here custom so uh, template you want to put the default one and I just renamed it to big boy design just that cool. um frame size is you got to have it uh, 1280 by 720 also will look retarded frame rate 29 uh, some people keep it on 59 like I said I like mine um it, this is basically all the same stuff as it was in properties it's just copying over but you want to make sure it's the same or else it won't render right um, maximum and average are at 14 million both keep them like that audio um, sample rate is at 44,100 and bit rate is at 128,000 keep it like that um, project yeah video rendering quality is best make sure it's at best um all right and after you're done doing that um you look down here uh check stretch video to fill output frame size do not letterbox and check save project markers in media file uh render using network computers you don't do that and save uh type as yeah main concept abc um slash aac that'll save it uh, compatibly with YouTube or whatever you're uploading it to. Um, on that, I'll give you a description of how it's saved. Make sure you read that before you actually render it, just so you have the right stuff. I do that all the time. Um, and then you could click save, and it will render depending on how big your clip is. It will. It might take you know, some clips might take 20 minutes to render. Some clips might take 40 minutes. Depending on the size, so don't worry if it takes a while. It, that's usually how it works. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. I figured I'd share that with you. If you guys want me to do some color correction tutorials um, in the future, whatever, I will. I just wanted to do this video because I've been having tons of trouble um, with rendering, and I finally figured it out on my own. And I'm actually loving it now. Like, it's just so fun to cut and crop clips and render them. And the final outcome, you just, I don't know. I'm pretty proud of myself when I put it up on YouTube and I see that I actually edited something. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, guys, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.